and welcome to Fairbrush Forum. My name is Joe Cortez, former international boxing referee from Las Vegas, Nevada, the boxing capital of the world. Well, guys, I've got so much response in reference to my interview last week about Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Canelo Alvarez, September 14th, here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I tell you guys, uh, the fans are just, that's all the talk there is in boxing right now. You look at any blog, anything in, uh, on, on the internet, with any website, everything is Canelo Alvarez, Floyd Mayweather Jr. You know, I, I, I feel that, like I said last week, this is a, a dream fight for any boxing fan, for any boxing official, talking about officials, I wish sometimes I was not retired. So I, I would have been in the mix here in Las Vegas to referee that fight. But one of my colleagues will be uh, involved and I'm sure they'll do a great job. But that is a dream fight for anybody involved in boxing. You know, Canelo Alvarez uh, has that, that charm about him. Not only is he one of the nicest individuals when you meet in boxing, he's one of the most devastating punchers in boxing today right now. And Canelo Alvarez says he can beat Mayweather Jr. September 14th. He says, I can break that code, I can do it. You know, when you're 22 years old, you feel that you're like Superman. You can do anything. But does he have that experience? He has about the same amount of fights, but not the same caliber of opponents that Mayweather has faced. And that's what's gonna make the difference in this fight. But again, he has a knockout punch that could put away anybody. Like I said last week, like some of the fighters he's fought most recently, Austin Trout, Rosalito Lopez. I mean, they felt those punches, the body punches that Rosalito Lopez received, and the wicked right hand that Austin Trout received from, from uh, Canelo Alvarez. So it's gonna be a, a dream fight. Again, like other guys, book those tickets way in advance when they go out on sale, and the room rates are already Already double, guys, so please follow up on that. I want to see you guys in Las Vegas. If you can't make it live here in Las Vegas, you will be in the mix and the atmosphere in Las Vegas. A fight night after fight parties. You can see the fights here at Cold Circuit. All, most of the hotels on the strip will be showing the fights at Cold Circuit because you're going to get but so many bodies at the MGM Hotel. You know, This is a fight that could have sold out 100,000 seats had we had a venue for that type of a fight. But that's the kind of fight that you're gonna have September 14th. The whole world wants to see this one. Talking about uh, boxing at another level, fans been asking me, Joe, you've been up close to these fighters. You've been in the ring with Mayweather on four occasions. You've been in the ring with Canelo Alvarez. You know, how does it feel when you have these guys connected, these punches? Canelo Alvarez, when he hits those two of body shots and the uh, that they feel the opponents, when they get hit with that shot, hey, let me tell you, I've heard that many times, uh, those body shots, they're one of the most devastating punches any fighter can get. I'd rather get hit on the chin than to get hit on the body with a shot for Canelo Alvarez. That's why Mayweather better be, I think he's to have four arms that night to try to cover himself because he's going to be with a devastating puncher. But nobody's been able to tag him in the last 40 some odd fights that he's had. So let's see, it's gonna be interesting night of boxing. He brings a lot of years of experience. And Canelo Alvarez, young, 22 year old, devastating puncher. Mayweather, 36 years old, with a body of a 22 year old. So let's see what happens. Brings in a lot of experience, the fight of the, probably the decade. So we'll see what happens come September 14th, here in Las Vegas at the MGM. Fans, Miss Angel, being that you were so close to these fighters, how can I become a referee? Or how can I become a judge? There's limited spaces in a professional level to get in as a judge or a referee. But I can tell you guys, do like I did. Up in the Bronx, on Webster Avenue, the PAL in New York, where I was born and raised. I started going to the PAL, got involved with the kids at the amateur level for a while. Before you know it, I was doing the Golden Glove fights. It's another step above the PAL, Police Athletic League. I step up, got to the Golden Gloves, and before you know it, I was pro. So. Uh, I, it was a little bit easier for me because uh, me being an ex-fighter, I knew a lot about ring mechanics in the ring, how to move around to watch these guys. That's what you want to do. You want to watch the professional referees out there. But, you know, keep your eyes on the referees, not too much on the fighters, on the referees if you want to be a referee, and see the ring mechanics, and then learn the rules. Go to the internet and go to the Association Boxing Commission, it's ABC, and, and get the rules there on judges, referees, timekeepers, 
you got ringside back, you got everything. All duties of boxing officials. That's where you want to pick up the manual or go to your local gym and find out with the uh, AAU, uh, uh, Amateur Athletic Union, and get uh, a boxing manual on officiating. That'll get you to open the doors and you get in there and see if you like it. You know, you may not like it. It's not as easy as it looks, but once you're in there, you got to be thinking like this. Bang, bang. A guy gets dropped. You got to send a fighter to a neutral corner. You got to start your account. Pick up your account from a timekeeper. It is so many things that go on. You don't learn it overnight, but it's really a lot of fun once you get involved. And then when you get in there, you feel like a champion yourself. And hopefully, you know, one day you can make it into the bigger fights. And it, it, it's a lot of fun. With that said, guys, next week I'll come back with something else for you. I'll give you a report of the Hall of Fame and whatnot. Talk to you soon. Bye.